Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Manuel. I currently pause my job for a year to live abroad. I'm originally from Munich in Germany and right now I'm living on an island called La Réunion. Today I'm going to present you five facts that I found out about La Réunion and they are really spectacular. To be honest, before I moved here I knew nothing about this island and I was really surprised how spectacular it is when I did my research now. But let's just go to the first fact right now. La Réunion wasn't plan A, it's more like a nice version of plan B because I looked for a place that has nice weather from October to December and that is within the European Union borders. So I did a little bit of research and I found out that there is one place that is in the southern hemisphere and this is La Réunion. So that means it's actually springtime here and it gets warmer and warmer from week to week. And even in the coldest months um, it won't drop below 20 degrees Celsius. When it comes to the EU, it's not only the most southern part of it, it's also the most eastern part of the European Union. This comes along with a time zone difference. Right now I'm three hours ahead of the Central European time. And due to this fact, La Réunion was indeed the first place within the European Union where the euro currency was introduced back in 2002. Remember the starter kits you could get at the bank? I think I had one and I spent the money within the first few months because I decided coin collection is not my new hobby. And I had a look at eBay to find out what they are worth today and if I yeah, lost uh, a treasure there. But uh, no, if I rediscover my uh, passion for coin collection I could get one of the starter kits for 15 euro. And remember, inside the starter kit are coins worth like 10 euro something. So it's still kind of a bargain and I'm not sad that I spent the money back in 2002. But talking about money leads me to the next EU fact about La Réunion. The island gets uh, financial support from the European Union and invests the money into infrastructure projects like streets. Right now, the Rue de Tamarin is the most expensive road in the whole European Union. It's uh, due to the volcanic surface that uh, there are some special requirements. So it has like 100 bridges on its length of 34 kilometers. However, I think it's one of the most beautiful highways I've ever drove on. You really need to focus on the traffic and not look on the one hand side to the sea with its majestic waves or to the mountains uh, on the other side. But La Réunion is about to break its own record. Le Rue de Tamarin costs per kilometer around like 33 million, so quite a lot. But now they decided to build a new road because a lot of roads are clinched to the volcanic rocks here and uh, that leads to high maintenance costs because due to rockfall they need to repair the streets uh, a lot of times. So they decided to build a new highway that is a little bit more out in the sea and um, due to some planning mistakes and the special requirements so that the road survives the cyclone season here on the island, the costs blew up. It is expected that the cost when the road will open in 2025 will be around 1.66 billion euro. The whole highway is just 12 and a half kilometers long. So this leads to a price per kilometer of 132 million. This is four times as much as the currently most expensive street in the European Union. But now enough with the EU facts, because the island also holds some world records. So the fact number two has to do with the weather here on the island. Right now it's springtime, it has like 24 degrees and until January the temperatures will rise until 30 degrees. And uh, at that time the cyclone season starts. Cyclones are basically the same thing as hurricanes, it's just the name for the phenomenon on the southern hemisphere. 
And uh, these storms not just bring high speed winds to the island, they also bring a lot of rain. And with the high mountains here on the island, the rainfalls are even heavier. The clouds almost get squeezed out on the flanks of the volcano. So that leads to the second fact that uh, La Réunion holds the world record for the most rainfall within 24 and 72 hours. But what does it actually mean? The record of rainfall within 24 hours is from March 16, 1952. On that day, they measured an unbelievable amount of 1,870 millimeters per square meter. To have a comparison, the amount of rain in Germany per year is just 700 millimeters. So on that day, there was three times the amount of rain that we have in Germany in a whole year. The record for the 72 hours is from 2007 and it is 3,929 millimeters. So it would be like standing in on the bottom of a pool that is four meters depth. Crazy. So, but now let's come to fact number three. We heard that the mountains are the reason why there is so much rain. But these are not just normal mountains. These are volcanoes. And the highest uh, is the Piton Neige. It is 3000 meters high. And with this height, it is the highest peak within the Indian Ocean. If you go the whole way down to the bottom of the ocean, it would be even like 7,000 meters high. Because La Réunion is located on a hot spot, which constantly blows up lava from the middle of the, the earth. And um, Pitonèche is an inactive volcano. The active volcano is called Piton de la Fonese and it is located in the southeastern part of the island. This part is barely inhabited and uh, so the outbreaks of this volcano don't harm anyone. It is pretty active and the last outbreak was just in April 2020. So if you haven't heard of it, it is perhaps because it's not like explosive outbreaks where people need to leave uh, the island. It's more like a constant uh, flow of lava uh, comparable to the volcano on Hawaii. So instead of being a threat to the locals here, it's more like a um, regular event um, that all the islanders go to to see where the lava flows into the ocean. The volcanic activity of the island is the reason why the landscape is so beautiful and 40% of the island of La Réunion belongs to the UNESCO World Heritage Site. If you just clicked on this video to see dinosaurs or to know some facts about dinosaurs, I have to disappoint you. I just put in a dinosaur because this island really reminds me with all this volcanic activity, the heavy rainfalls and so on, as a perfect location for a future Jurassic Park. But the island is really young. It just uh, came out of the ocean three million years ago. So the dinosaurs were like extinct for a very long time, even before this island existed. So let's move to fact number four. La Réunion wasn't called like that from the beginning. It was discovered by Portuguese sailors in 1507. It was not inhabited, so no one was here. The French people start to settle here in 1665, and uh, they called the island Ile de Bourbon after the French royal house Bourbon. You might know the expression Bourbon from the famous Bourbon vanilla. And yes, La Réunion was famous for Bourbon vanilla. Today it is Madagascar, as many believe, uh, that is the origin of Bourbon vanilla, but it's just uh, the world's largest producer today. La Réunion is just number three on the list of vanilla producers. The vanilla orchid is not from this region originally, it's originally from Mexico and it was just brought here to plant because it was even valuable back at that time. 
It is so valuable because it's really difficult to plant it and the whole process from pollinating the flowers to the final product that you can find in the supermarket takes up to two years. The pollination process is really complicated and uh, here on La Réunion uh, they found an easy way how to do it. This is the reason why the island became so famous for its Bourbon vanilla and yeah it's still planted on the island. Last but not least, I have a special fact that I want to share with you. Before I came to the island, I haven't heard of this problem. And to be honest, it was hard to believe that it really was like that. But I think it's due to uh, that the touristic area here in La Réunion is basically uh, focusing on French people. So it just occurred in the French speaking media and not in other medias. But the island has a shark problem. It's also called the shark island. Since 2011, there was a major increase in shark attacks. There were 24 shark attacks since 2011 and 40 of them were deadly. So the probability to get attacked by a shark is 1000 times higher here than it is in Australia or California. No, Jaws just became real here and it is an ongoing uh, problem where they didn't find any solution yet. The reasons are numerous and not quite clear why the odds to be eaten by a shark are so much higher here than anywhere else. Bull shark and tiger sharks are responsible for the attacks. The conditions for the sharks are ideal on the island. Many sharks swim between Australia and South Africa and find a diverse ecosystem in the coastal waters of the island. Bull sharks prefer murky water which occurs often on the island due to the heavy rainfalls. They tried a lot to save the locals and the tourists from the attacks, but so far nothing worked. Just last year four people died. However, it's not always clear if they initially got attacked by sharks or if they drowned and then got eaten by sharks. Due to the ongoing attacks, the island banned almost all water activities. La Réunion offers ideal conditions for surfing, but today it is forbidden completely. To secure the beaches, they have nets, which they put out if the waves aren't too high. These nets are monitored and maintained on a daily basis because even with the nets, there was an attack at the beach where I live in Bucan in 2016. At that time, they had large nets to secure the whole beach. However, they were hard to maintain. On the day of the attack, the officials discovered the, a hole in the net and prohibited all water activities. However, some surfers went anyway to catch the great waves at that day and one got killed. But the attacks aren't limited to surfers. There were also attacks just close as three meters away from the beach. Today the nets are tiny and the area where you can swim is the size of a pool. It is strictly prohibited to swim anywhere on the island except the surveilled nets and within the protected lagoon. The topic is quite big and discussed controversially on the island, so I might make an extra video about it. If you can't wait and want to spoil it yourself, you will find a link to a video documentary from Vice uh, from 2016 down in the description box. To be honest, I take this really seriously and when I enter the water, I constantly monitor the waves for any like shark looking activities. So far, there wasn't any attacks in 2020 and I hope it really stays like that. So um, yeah, I just go into the water if I feel really safe, if it's an area where the lifeguards have an eye on the water constantly and of course if it is secured uh, with a net. Daddy shark, do 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 do. Daddy shark, do 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 do.
shark. So that were the five facts I wanted to share with you on La Réunion. Was everything new to you or what did you know before? Let me know in the comments down below. Even though if you have any further facts about La Réunion, I'm curious to know in the comment section. If you liked the video, then leave me a thumbs up and in order not to miss any of my future videos, just subscribe to the channel. The next time I'm going to tell you a little bit about what I'm actually doing here on this island. It's not just YouTube videos. I have a lot of projects that I uh, will um, tell you next time about. So see you until then, bye bye!